In this video, we are going to go through the installation of IIS or Internet Information Services on Windows Server 2012 R2. And we are also going to configure the domain name on the standard um, HTTP port 80 once the installation is complete. Now, fortunately, as far as Windows 2012 goes, installing IIS is a really straightforward and quick thing to do. So let's go through the wizard that'll let us install it. Now, normally when you start Windows 2012 R2, you end up in this place, which is the server manager dashboard. If you don't have it open, you can click on the icon, which is there by default, or go in your start menu and find the uh, control panel from here. It's probably, oh, actually server manager right here. Now this opens the server manager that'll let us add the IIS role. This is really straightforward, thankfully. Just click on Add Roles and Features. Uh, role based, feature based, that's perfect. And then we're going to install locally on this computer because we only have one. And then all we need to do is to select Web Server IIS. Now this pops up the management console which is also installed with the web server. It's perfectly normal. Then we click on Next. Uh, within here, we don't actually need to change anything. This is more additional things um, that you can that you can add. So just click on next on here, and then we have specific things that we want for the web server. I'm not actually going to add anything here. You might have more things to add at a later date, uh, but the defaults are fine for IIS. Um, so this is we're just going to leave it as is. Click on next and then install. Now that this might have sounded very simple, but it is basically all you need to do to have IIS installed and functional in server uh, 2012 R2. Let's wait for this to finish. Now this might take a couple of minutes depending on the power of your system. In my case, I'm in a virtual machine, so it's a little longer, so I cut off the video to uh, not let you wait a minute while I'm breathing. Okay, so once IIS has finished installing, uh, you can just click on close here. So it says feature installation succeeded. So you click on close here, and now you have the IIS role that's been added here. Now, generally speaking, I don't access IIS from the dashboard. I just close this, and then I go under the Internet Information Services, pin that to the start so it's easier to access. And there we go. So a fresh installation of IIS has a single server. And um, actually this prompt, um, you might want to click yes on that because we might use the web platform components at a later date. So the default website basically responds to any request from any IP on any port, meaning you have a website functional. If somebody were to access your public IP right away, um, you would actually, they would actually see the same thing as what I'm going to see here, which is local host. Now this is the default IIS homepage and um, this indicates that it is successfully installed on this computer. So now that we verified that IIS is functional, there's one other thing that we need to do, and that is to add bindings. Bindings essentially means that the IIS server will respond to certain domain names, and within each of these websites with specific bindings, you can have different configurations. So let me go in bindings here, and as we can see, this will um, answer any request on the port 80 from any IP address. What we want to do is to add a new binding and we are going to add the domain name that, well, the domain name that you've purchased. So I'm always going to use example.com, which is the default for these sorts of videos and I'm going to click OK. So now we see that we are responding to example.com. So if the domain name is properly configured and it's pointing to the right IP address, someone typing example.com from this point on gets the default website 
everything is working perfectly. So this is it for part two of five on this series. So now we have IIS installed, ready to answer on the domain name, and we will be moving on to the next part, which is uh, activating and installing a SSL certificate on this server. See you in a few clicks.